Hello everyone, Charlie here. Today I'm coming to you from a hotel room in San Francisco and I've got a bit of a different video for you. There's another designer here on YouTube called Dan Petty. He's been running a design challenge. He created this fictional space travel company and gave a brief for people to design a logo, a homepage and also an app. And he's asked me to help out with critiquing some of the homepage designs. So today I'm looking forward to showing you some of my favorites and critiquing them and this should be a great video to get some inspiration and also some learning of what to look out for in your own designs. One more thing before we get into it is that Dan is also running a conference that I'm speaking at, which I'm really excited about. It's coming up very soon, and I think there's still tickets available though. So if you want to head to winterworkweek.com, it's got all of the information of the speakers, the tickets. It's a conference that's held in Yosemite, and it's mostly workshops. I'm hosting one about self-promotion for designers, like finding your niche, working on your portfolio. I'm really looking forward to it, and there's so many great people there. Like this is a conference that I would want to go to even if I wasn't speaking at it, if you know what I mean. So check it out, and if you feel like coming, it'd be great to see you there. Anyway, for now though, let's take a look at some homepage designs that were entered into this challenge. So I noticed quite a few trends as I was looking through the entries for this competition, um, and a lot of them came from what was directed in the brief, so it's good that people were listening. Dan said that the company wanted a black and white design with one or two accent colors. So I think because of that, I saw a lot of dark UIs make sense because space is dark, so that's the route that most people went down. He also made a comparison that this space travel company is more Virgin America than they are United. So that gives an idea of the look and feel that he was going for with the design. I think because of that Virgin America mention in there, a lot of people went with this pinky red gradient as the accent color. That's the color that Virgin use, and I wouldn't really recommend if someone makes a comparison in a brief to use the exact color of that like comparison company. But in saying that, one of my favorite designs entered into this competition did use that pinky red gradient, so I just wanted to mention it. It's this one here by Simo. Uh, it's got this lovely header. I, I love this use of the spaceship window to play a video. I just think that's a really nice UI element. All in all, I think this page has just been really nicely designed. Even though this is not interactive, I can imagine how I would interact with it. And I just think that that is a sign of good UX when you can figure out how to use it just from looking at it. I know flat design is really in at the moment, but I always appreciate a little bit of texture and layering and just ways to give web designs a bit more depth. So I like that in this one, we've got these lines behind the images that, yeah, puts it on another layer. And I also really liked how in the footer, there's this use of the photo. So instead of just a plain dark background, there's like a dark background of space. Another design I really liked is this one by Ted, and this used a blue scheme. I love this little booking UI at the top here. I think that's great. It stands out from the page, and the main point of the web page is to make the booking, so that makes sense. As we scroll through the page, there's just a lot of really lovely UI and design elements, and lots of information that you've considered as well, which I felt like made it a really realistic design, because realistically, there would be a lot of information information to go on a space travel booking site and so even though as designers we like to keep things plain and empty the real challenge is displaying all of the complex information in a way that still looks easy to read and you know with enough negative space which I think you've done well here even though Dan said you just have to make a homepage design a lot of people went above and beyond in this challenge and really expanded on their skills and like you know tried things out and I love seeing that I especially love seeing all of the animation that was involved in this interaction and animation is a really important part of web design especially in 2018 and so I just wanted to show you some of my favorite examples of that. There's this one here that had a beautiful way that the planets switch and as you scroll down the site all of the information you know comes in together. I love that that was considered. So nice one John. This one was absolutely beautiful the way that it just drifted in. It felt like space you know and we've got the moving background there as well so you can kind of imagine yourself flying through it. I thought that was really nice. This one had really lovely animation as you switch through what planet you're going to travel to or moon and then some people went even further beyond that and actually built out their homepage design so it wasn't just a mock-up and it was an actual you know, functioning design. This first one was designed by Mike Delsing and then built out in Webflow by Waldo. And I like the teamwork there and also that they went to the effort to put this together um, and show all the parallax animation as you scroll. Another one of the designs that I love the most also just so happened to be one that was built out in code. Uh, it's this one here by Nathan, I think. I thought this one had a really nice typography, made good use of images. One thing I will say though, and is that as you can see, my computer is having a struggle uh, showing you this while I'm screen recording is that when you put a lot of animation into websites you've got to think about how that will affect computers with slower processors because not everyone is viewing a website from like a super fast iMac 
I want to give a special mention here to Christian who entered what they said is their first ever web design and I thought that was pretty cool to take this challenge as a chance to try something new. There's a lot of great things that have been considered in this design, a lot of work that needs to be done on refining the UI and like refining your design eye on this Christian but overall this is an absolutely amazing first attempt at web design and I hope you keep going. So most of the designs we've seen so far have had a dark background, like I said that's what most people, the path they went down, so that meant that when I saw a light design that I really liked it definitely stood out to me because it was different from the rest. So I want to show you a couple of my favorites there. There's this one here which is just a super short homepage with the booking UI and a link to have a tour across the ship as well as the navigation of course. I like this idea of a short homepage, it's not something that I saw many people do, most people had a lot of information on it, but sometimes a short homepage can perform really well. I think the booking UI is really nicely designed and I loved the use of the moon on the light background. This one here by Jason made really nice use of imagery and I also liked the modular design of it. It starts off with the booking UI and then all the other information is displayed in a really nice way that definitely makes me want to go on this trip. Like it feels luxurious but it also feels fun. This one here was really interesting to me because it had a lot of creative elements that I hadn't really seen much before in web design. I like the drips that they used and like the texture of the little crosses all over the place. I don't think this is the best design in terms of convincing people to book a space travel flight, like uh, showing them that it's safe and that it's secure and you know, it's gonna go to the moon fast. I don't think it feels serious enough for me to trust it with like, you know, my life essentially going to space. But I really like the graphical elements of it and I like to encourage, you know, creative thinking in web design, not everything has to be just boxes, you know, so I wanted to mention it. I keep mentioning the booking UI in these critiques because that was part of the brief that the site is for people to book travel and to make it easy for them to book travel. So I was always on the lookout for nicely designed booking UI and sites that made that the focus rather than the beautiful imagery, which is important, but at the end of the day, people have to be able to book easily. This one by Matt was a really nice one for that. It made good use of both black and white backgrounds and the booking UI stayed on top of the screen the whole time as you scroll, but it wasn't really like in the way. It felt like it should be there and it made it easy to book from wherever you are on the site and I thought that was really nicely considered. I want to end on a couple where there was really nice graphical considerations made and really nice work done there. This one, love the homepage, think that that's a beautiful graphic to start with. The UI of the site itself isn't quite as strong as the graphical elements but I think that this is a great start and obviously Andrea you've got a lot of talent. This one by Kyle was absolutely beautiful as well. I don't think it was the most functional of the designs, like you definitely have to think a little bit about this site in order to interact with it so the UX isn't yeah, quite as strong as some of the others I've shown, but it's absolutely beautiful and it definitely feels special. So yeah, I wanted to show you. So let's look at some of the entries in the space challenge. I hope you got some value from hearing my thoughts on them and also some inspiration just from seeing all those amazing designs. If you want to see more of them, you can find them in the space challenge hashtag on Twitter that I'll link below. And I think it's next week that Dan will be announcing the winners of the challenge because he's giving away some pretty amazing prizes. So stay tuned for that. If you're new around here, I make videos every single week about design and my life as a designer at a tech company working remote. So stick around, hit that subscribe button, and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Bye.